All right, thank you everyone for tuning in. This is the EAC tip of the week. Today what we're going to be discussing is light modules and uh, the installation of them, making sure you have them with Real Parametric. My name is Matt Kluse. I'm a technical account manager for EAC. So let's go ahead and get started and, and talk about how to get these going in your system. So if you aren't aware, there are a few light modules that come with every base seat of Creo Parametric at this point. Uh, the first one of which I was going to talk about is Advanced Framework Extension. This is just a tool that allows you to build frames and other different pieces. Um, instead of having to model each individual, individual piece, you can just go ahead and apply profiles um, to very simple sketches. Uh, the other light module I was going to talk about is Creo Simulate. It's an FEA tool, allows you to do some analysis work, again, that you didn't have in the base package before. Up to 250 surfaces, structural analysis, so things like stress, strain, displacement. But again, the thing about this is you have to know how to actually turn these features on. And a lot of times, you know, again, there's not very good documentation out there to be able to do that. So that's what we're going to cover today. So first things first, what you need to do is actually make sure you're in the install menu of the software. So to get to that, it's very simply go to either put, put your DVD in um, for the software or go to the download that you have for the software and just go into setup. A lot of times what happens is people try to go into the reconfigure option inside of either Pro Engineer or Creo Parametric and you can't actually install these things from that menu prompt. You actually have to go into the, set, uh, the setup from the DVD or from the software download. So once you're in there, you're going to be asked whether you want to install or add new software. Well, we want to install these, these extra options. So again, most of the time, people install these right from the start, but uh, a lot of times what will happen is IT will come in. Maybe they don't want to install everything, so they check off things that they know you don't use. So again, just accept this, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to see license identification. Skip that, and you're going to move over to application selection. So this is the first part where you need to make sure that you have something checked. The one that you need to have checked out of this menu is Creo Simulate. To get Simulate Lite, you have to have Simulate installed. Again, a lot of times people, when during the installation process, will point to the fact they don't have Simulate, or as it was called before, Mechanica, so they don't bother installing it. Make sure it's installed. This is the easiest way to do that. Again, if it's not, just check it and then proceed with the installation. The other area to turn on that framework tool that I talked about is actually, if you go over to Customize here, you're going to see if you click on Creo Parametric, you have some options that you can include or choose to not include. Again, make sure Advanced Framework Extension is checked. It should be checked with a baseline installation, but again, depending on who did the install, when they did it, so on and so forth, it might not be. So that's the first area to check. If any of these things are unchecked or not there, go ahead and check them off and run the install again. What it's going to do is it's going to install those components. I will reiterate one more time. You cannot access this from the reconfigure area where Creo Parametric is installed on your computer. You have to get this from the DVD or from the downloaded software. So that's the first part of this. The next part is actually making sure it works. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about that framework tool, advanced framework extension. Go into any um, go into any assembly, and what you're going to do is you just go and check, make sure you have the framework tab. If you don't have the framework tab, chances are you have to actually set the config option to do so. So in that case, what you do is you would go File, Options, Configuration Editor, and what you're going to do is you're going to say Find, type AFX, Find Now. All you're going to do is you want to make sure that that's enabled. Set the value to yes, add change, and then go ahead and save this config option to your config file. Close the software out, restart it. At that point, you should have the framework tab in your, 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 um, in your software. Again, you have to be in assembly for this to work, so open up an assembly to make sure that tab is there. If you open up a part, it's not going to show up. So the other area that we talked about is that Simulate Light tool. So to get to that, all you would do is click on Applications, Simulate. And just make sure when you do that, you're probably going to get this prompt to pop up because you most likely don't have a full version of Simulate. Just go ahead and toggle on Simulate Light. Okay. 
you should be good to go. You should get this process guide here and a prompt that walks you through how to do a proper FEA analysis. Now, the thing about this is there was some installations that, that I've worked with where it didn't install properly. There's, a, there's an issue with a uh, DAT file and just some, some different items in that DAT file. PTC actually has a bulletin about this. So if you go to ptc.com and you search for the document CS59300 under the support tab, it's going to go ahead and explain what you need to do to fix that DAT file. You can see right here the featured DAT file controlling simulate licenses created with incorrect format. Again, this is available to anyone that has a uh, PTC account and is on maintenance. Very simply, just to walk through this one more time, we'll go to, we'll go ahead and copy this so it's a little bit easier to grab. Go to ptc.com. And we'll just go to the support tab, technical support. It's going to ask you to log in, and then you can go ahead and search on that on that um, that bulletin. So we'll just go ahead and paste that in there, and you're going to see we're right back to the page we were just on. So again, that's the easiest way to turn these things on. Um, these are very very useful light modules inside of Creo Parametric. Um, if you have any problems other than turning on the config options or you know making these changes to the simulate uh, DAT file if needed, feel free to contact EAC. We'll be more than happy to help out. But again, thank you for tuning in today, and I hope this was helpful.